What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, look at this, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the weather is kind of like, uh, my girlfriend right here. The mood. You never know, it's unpredictable. Shout out to her. <laughs> Anywho, yes. Uh, we have awakened both Groudon and Kyogre, and, uh, yeah, it is, a. Uh, it is a messed up situation, mainly because, uh, well, shoot, uh, they're, they're dictating what the weather is looking like. As you guys can see, it's a big downpour, and it is a big drought. Pick and choose, and it does affect your battles going into, you know, the wild Pokemon battle, or any kind of Pokemon that you, or Pokemon trainer you uh, face right here. So now, in this episode, we're going to be going straight to Sutopolis City, because, well, shoot, something is happening over there. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and fly, since we've already get, got in there. And, uh, well, you guys are going to be taking a look at the events that are happening right here. So take a look at what happens. <laughs> well, this is happening again. So in uh, the ancient times, both Groudon and Kyogre were to fight each other plenty of times, and it was almost causing the world to go into some kind of mass extinction and all that stuff. As you guys can see, it's raining, it's drowning, it's all that stuff, and uh, the people right here are in amazement. It's like these giant Pokemon suddenly appeared in the middle of the city, and I've never seen them before. Why are they smashing into each other like that? Why can't they be friends? Those Pokemon! Uh, well, because they're legendary prima donnas and all that stuff. The weather was clear this morning, but all of a sudden dark clouds brewed up, rain started to fall in sheets, and uh, there was thunder and lightning too. The weather just went completely wild. As all of this become of, uh, because, or as all of this because of those Pokemon, yes it is. Okay, so, we got some situations to happen since, and take-ons and all that crud, and well, look at this. Yeah, we can't get between them because, yes. Uh, they're fighting, so we can't do much. And here we have the two culprits, Archie and Maxi. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here, it's the red orb. Calm down, Kyogre. It's no good. It's not responding at all. You think? G Groudon, please stop what you're doing. I know you do the extent of your power now. If you keep going, all of Owen, no. Not just Sutopolis. You will utterly be ruined, oh my god. And, well... Yeah, we gotta go right here because those two guys, yeah, yeah, you, you know what you did, it's all your fault. Now, here is Steven Stone, and he's gonna be like, those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre. Those two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep, and now they're just smashing each other, or, or smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Raven, you being here, I'll take you, uh, I'll take to, or I'll take to mean uh, w that you are prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well, then, uh, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and meet that person. And as you guys can see, look at that. We're just walking and walking. We already took a tour of this whole place. And Stephen Stones is like, listen, Draven. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are uh, to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. Not really. Kind of don't know. I really don't know. So, let's see what the, we have to go through. And this guy is just walking us through, not even using anything. And, well, he's me. we're going we're gonna to meet up to with this guy right here. And, well, apparently we're going to have to go right here. He, Steven's like, okay, here we are. Inside, you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. And just like that, we're entering the Cave of Origin. This is where you would normally find, uh, I believe you would actually find Kyogre and Groudon eventually, you know, to capture them in both Pokemon, uh, what was it called, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Now, as you guys can see right here, everything is lit up. You can see everything. And it has been shortened, to be quite honest. And, okay, so apparently there's supposed to be something right here. 
And would you look at that? Mr. Boy Toy himself, Wallace, is here. He's like, ah, so you're Draven. I've heard the tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of the Sutopolis or of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I'm I have entrusted my mentor Juan with the job, uh, the gym's operation. Radon and Kyogre, the the two Pokemon working havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It is said that it was Rayquaza that recalled the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. I think I know. Draven, do you uh, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. I'm just gonna be like Sky Pillar. The Sky Pillar. That's it. It must be where uh, the Sky Pillar. Draven, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to Sky Pillar right away. Okay, I thought he was gonna literally take me, but yeah. Uh, playing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, this would either be filled up with water or magma, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's not there. So we've, yeah, we figured out the situation right here. And yes, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. Look at that Zubat, you'll find one right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the Max Repel. And let's, let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. So after talking to Wallace, you're gonna talk to Steven Stone. He's gonna be like, the Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder what it could be. Now, if you guys recall, a few episodes ago, we got called by our girlfriend, May, and she said that she saw a long green Pokemon flying close to Pacific Lock Town. I think that's where we need to go. So, I think that's, uh, I think that's what we're going to have to be doing because, yes, yeah, <laughs> kind of don't want to do it, but I has to. So, we're going to get out of here. So, I'll, yeah, I'm going to fast forward getting out of here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in the outside of where we found Kyogre, and now it is finally time for us to go to Pacific Logtown. Now, off screen, I did capture quite a few Pokemon, got ourselves quite a few uh, Pokeballs because, yes, Draven forgets to uh, get Pokeballs whenever he can. And, well, let's see, let's go ahead and use a Max Repel because we don't need any of these Pokemon messes and all that stuff. And, well, Along the way, yes, we're going to be battling quite a few people. And during this whole rain slash sunstorm, you're going to be getting whatever weather effect. Right now, we're in the sunny effect. So, putting in Vesuvius wouldn't be such a bad idea. And look at that. Yes, we win. Uh, Isaiah, you have been defeated, my friend. Yes, the victory. Yeah, 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 victory. And, of course, he's going to be giving us a, his number on the Pokenab and all that stuff. So, let's continue on right here. And what we're going to be going to is Route 129. And this is exactly where, you know, the weather effects don't take effect. Or, yeah, the weather doesn't take effect when it comes to Kyogre and Groudon. So, look at that. Say, hey, hey, let's go on with it. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Speedo Torpedo himself. And, well, we're going to be shockwaving our way through this whole thing. Look at that. He's coming out with a Sharpedo. And just like that, we defeat a good old buddy Speedo Torpedo. So let's, yeah, we're going to be battling a lot of people here. So let's just, yeah, strap on for the ride right here, guys. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, battling effect. Now, before we get to Pacifica Lockdown, it's just, yeah, we're going to be uh, seeing quite a few different Pokemon, quite a few trainers. And as you guys can see, a lot of triathletes, they're going to be coming out with the same Pokemon. So Shockwave away. And here we go, Shockwave again. And Sage has grown to level 49. So around this time, yeah, we're, we're definitely we're definitely putting in some work right here. And, well, we got two more trainers. So let's go right ahead and get her attention. And she's in the middle of a triathlon. So obviously, yeah, we don't want to mess with her. So let's go right ahead and go with a Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt again. And we win. Yes, we win. Okay. Let's take on the other pretty lady on the bottom side right here. Oh, it's a double battle. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to both Sage and Raiden. That way we can uh, figure, or we can do, we can deal with both these people right here. So let's go right ahead and take on another uh, couple right here. So let's see what we got. Speedo Torpedo and Mrs. Speedo Torpedo, and we're gonna be spe speeding through this. And we picked correctly. Look at this. Okay, so Leaf Blade towards uh, Chinchow, which we actually captured off screen. It's 
a much more it's it's a much more efficient Pokemon going into like competitions and all that stuff because it is bulky and all that. Thus, uh, plus it does have uh, both the electric and water type capabilities. And look at this, we are at Route 130, so we're getting closer and closer. And here we have a guy. He's like, "What a surprise! I didn't expect to see a trainer out in the sea. I think we should battle." Yes, we're gonna be battling. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Rodney. And he's coming out with the right Pokemon right here. And yes. Now, the unfortunate part is that he doesn't give us his number. Or we don't have the VS Seeker because he would have been a perfect opponent. And it looks like to me we're getting closer and closer to Route 131. And... Well, let's see. We're just looking for all these trainers right here. Where are you? Where could you be? And, you know, let's see, there should be an indicator right here, an indicator somewhere. And, wow, look at this, we got trainers, and I think this is close, we're closing it, we're closing into uh, Sky Pillar, so let's go right ahead and get these two to battle me, because I only want to battle both. Let's get it! And, let's see, they got... They got some pretty easy, decent Pokemon right here, so there we go, Leaf Blade, and bam, okay, so here we go, Thundershock, Leaf Blade, bulky Pokemon, and just like that, we have defeated Santiago and his girlfriend. Okay, alrighty, so what's next? I don't know. Oh yeah, here we are, Route 131, and yeah, we're literally right here, and well, let's go right ahead and start battling. Some more trainers, so let's get it. And shockwave, and actually no, leaf blade right here, and just like that we have defeated more triathletes, and well, I think that's pretty much it right there. So here we are in Route 131. This is exactly where May saw the saw the big green Pokemon, and now let's see, let's go right ahead and do that. The sea is teeming with Pokemon. It's not as easy swimming, I tell you. You tell me. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another Speedo Torpedo, and let's see what we got. He's got one Pokemon, so let's go ahead and speed through that. Thunderbolt for the win, and yes, we win. Alrighty, okay. And yes, we do not want we do not want to get hit by another Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and move on. And yeah, we're we're gonna be battling everybody right now. Literally everybody. So, let's go right ahead and speed through this one. Thunderbolt right there. And Raiden has grown to level 42. And Sage finally grows to level 50. So that is another Pokemon that gets that level 50. Let's go right ahead and switch the experience here. Since we have already uh, got another level 50 Pokemon. I think the next Pokemon on the list that could be useful is Raiden. So, let's go right ahead and give this uh, experience share to Raiden. It's already holding the Shell Bell, so we can replace that. And you know what? We should give that Shell Bell to Sage right here. And you know what? Let's give a Carbos to Vesuvius because its speed needs to be risen. And well, let's see. I think we're close. Yeah, this is actually, this is. I think this is the area where you can actually find Sky Pillar, but there's gonna be a lot more Pokemon trainers right here. So let's see. Let's see if I'm correct. Going right here. Oh, yeah, it is. So, Sky Pillar is going to be right here. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually battle everybody and then uh, go to Pacific Log, Pacific Log Town. That way I can show you guys the, the place and then, you know, take on, uh, take care of everything else. The sea, the sea, the sea. The sea, as far as uh, the, the eyes can see. Wow, okay, so never mind. I'm going to battle these guys. And Tentacruel, eat that Thunderbolt for the win. There we go. See that? And, well, let's see. We got another double battle right here. Battle first. Uh, battle her first. And as you guys can see, bam. Shockwave for the win. And let's go right ahead and switch out Sage. Let's give somebody else a chance. Let's give Joss a, t a, s a chance. And... Bam. Okay, so we're going to be battling a brother and sister right here, the siblings. And, well, let's see what they got. They got two Pokemon, one bulky, one mean. Here comes a crunch attack. And level 42 Joust. 
And yes, we're doing uh, we're doing such a great job with our with our Pokemon right now. We could be at level 50 by the time we get to the Pokemon League. And well, here we are, guys, in Pacifilog Town. Now, the funny thing about this place is. I always get to this place at the very end after beating the Elite Four. And it's funny because it's like, you know, this should have been a place that we could have gotten to before Sutopolis or anywhere else. It, it's kind of messed up. So let's go right ahead and take a tour and take a, a quick look at what we got. So let's see. I, actually, let's let's go ahead and do this again. The Sky Pillar? Oh, you mean that tall, tall tower in the, uh, a little further out? If you ask me, I wouldn't climb it. It's too scary to get up that high. Live at sea level is Pacific Law Town. That suits me fine. Okay. So let's see. There are a few places of importance. I think there's a place here where you can actually trade a Pokemon. Now, if you talk to her, people are saying that they saw a Pokemon flying high above Hoenn. Is it flying uh, around all the time? Doesn't it need to rest somewhere? Hmm. I wonder who that is. Talk to this person. Where did you come from? And this makes no sense, obviously. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this person. A Sky Pokemon is Sky Pokemon! Now, in Ruby and Sapphire, it makes sense later on because, well, you know, you will be able to take on a level 70 Rayquaza. And I remember when I first met Rayquaza, it was kind of uh, amazing to me because it was, like, really, like, at the end of the game. And what happened? Like, I was at the end of the game and I was just, like, strolling around, around and then, bam, I found Sky Pillar and then found Rayquaza. Now, if you talk to this guy, in the Hoenn region, there are three Pokemon that represent the power of rock, ice, and steel. Each of them is set to hide deep away, or hide away deep in the caves. And that's the story I heard when I was just a little kid. Okay, all right, just a little kid. Six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what he, mean, he meant. Oh, he's probably one of them archaeologists. Now, this place right here is, well, it's littered with, pico, with people. They will talk to you about the legendary Pokemon. And, well, if you talk, if you go right here, talk to this individual. <coughs> I am the Pokemon fan club's most important person, the chairman's younger brother. I'm here enjoying a vacation with my Pokemon. Yes, indeed, I like your Pokemon. It clearly likes you very much. Hey, Pokemon, they, they adore, or that adoring and that adorable deserves a team like this, no? And here we get the TM27, which is Return. If you guys don't know, Return is a very, very powerful move that depends on your friendship and all that stuff. And if your Pokemon is high on friendship, well, the opponent is pretty much screwed. And, uh, you know, a good Pokemon for that move would have to, would have to be, what, uh, slacking and all that. Yeah, slacking. Fortunately, I didn't really listen to you guys, so, yeah, don't have slacking. Now, if you talk to this girl, she's going to be like, is that a Pokedex? Did you meet a lot of different Pokemon? I wish I was like you. Mm-hmm. Lots of people do. Check out this horsey. It's a horsey that I caught yesterday to celebrate my birthday. Oh, I can see you want it. After all, it's priceless. I'll tell you what. I might be willing to trade it for a Bagon. That is not a really good trade, okay? It really isn't. Uh, and I already have a horsey, and it's probably going to make an appearance right here at some point in time. Now, if you go into this house, you talk to this guy. He's like, Mirage Island. It must be visible and invisible, and depending on the weather conditions, that makes mirages appear. Or is it really appearing and disappearing? And the funny thing is, guys, this guy will tell you if you can, uh, if he can see Mirage Island. Now, in all my years, okay, all my years that I've ever been playing Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire, I've never, ever, ever been to Mirage Island. Never. Okay. I've heard that, what was it? I've heard that, uh, yeah. I've heard that it's only a place for why nots. It's not that important or special. But at some point in time in this walkthrough, I will be showing you guys Mirage Island. I'm probably gonna go through a hack or a cheat that, to actually get to it because I really don't want to spend all that time trying to find Mirage Island. Now, if you go in here, talk to this guy, you can't see it. I think it, uh, like, comment down below, guys. Let me know what the conditions have to be in order to get to, uh, what was it called? To Mirage Island. So, let's go right ahead and not use that. Let's go ahead and get to Sky Pillar. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. It might be hard to go up there. No, it's not. It is, uh, it's actually at the very beginning right here. It is very, very easy to get to and get up to. So, let's go right ahead 
and get to Mirage Island because somebody is waiting for us right here. And here is the Sky Pillar. Not the whole entire bit of it. And, well, here is Wallace. He's going to be like, oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I left you behind. Yeah, jerk. You could have just taken me here, but no, you didn't want to. I've opened the, the long door for Sky Pillar. Draven, let's be on our way. Okay, so, uh-oh, it's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what's going on. And, oh, wow, there is, uh, there is something going on right here. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't wo good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Draven, Rayquaza should be further up uh, from here. I'm worried about Sutopolis. I've got to go back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Okay, alrighty. So, here we are in Sky Pillar now. <laughs> Sky Pillar, infamous in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald because of the cracks, and you have to have your acro, or no, you have to have your mock bike in order to get through this place. Believe me when I say this, guys. When I first got the Sky Pillar in Sapphire version back when I was like 11, 12, it took me about two hours just to get through it. It really did because it was I was not that good. So, here we are in Emerald version. And it's a lot easier because, well, you know, this is just a mission. This is just a mission right here. A very, very easy mission. And, well, I think... Yeah, this is the part right here where you kind of messed up. Okay, so... Okay, so it looks like to me I picked the right bike. And this is the part where you usually kind of... Yeah, this is the part where you <laughs> I usually screw up. So let's see what ends up happening right here. And turn... And crap, because that's what usually happens. If you're not that coordinated... Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's going to give you a hard time right here. So what if you go through down the middle right here? And you still make it. It actually helps you out right here. You still make it, but eventually it goes to, like, it, it, the cracks are, well, there aren't in an area where you, you won't be able to actually get to the very end right here very easily. Now, here we are at the very top, and here you're going to be finding a sleeping Pokemon, and, uh-oh. Oh, wow. To be quite honest, he kind of looks like a big old duty. I just had to say that. But Rayquaza has woken up, and he flew off. Oh, crud. Okay, so that right there is uh, pretty much it. So, what you need to do now, if I could do it here. Yes, you can. You have to fly all the way back to Sutopolis. And, well, this is where things get interesting. So, take a look at this. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that these two Pokemon were basically arguing and uh, all it took was the green one to just yell at them. Wow, I've seen all the memes. I've literally seen all the memes. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see. Let's let's get the feedback. What, 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 what was the green Pokemon? Uh, hold on. I, 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 let's see. Oh. It was you who brought the flying Pokemon here. Well, aren't you amazing? Yes, I am. Yes, I am amazing. And when that third Pokemon flew down, I feared the worst. I kind of did feel the, fear the worst. <laughs> oh, that was wicked. So, we basically saved uh, all of Hoenn from all the, you know... Yeah, we, we, yeah we've saved all of Hoenn. And here we have the two losers, Maxi. He's like, so the super ancient Pokemon are only Groudon and Kyogre. 
After all our fruitless scheming and the frantic efforts, though, that one Pokemon simple action put everything right again as if anything or nothing uh, had happened. <laughs> okay. Kyogre and Groudon are boot. Uh, Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. <laughs> Maybe what we are, what we were trying to do, was something small, even meaningless. Well, to Pokemon. And well, after talking to them, they are gone. And the funny thing is, guys, when I first played Pokemon Emerald, it, it, to me was that was kind of like a little bit anticlimactic, just because it was like, okay, really, that was it. But thankfully. Like, thankfully, they changed that up, going into, uh, you know, Alpha Sapphire and uh, Omega Ruby. We will eventually get there once we get there. Now, after we're done, we gotta talk to these guys, and Stevens is like, It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return those orbs. Hmm, probably. Draven, why has it deceived me? Thanks to your help, Sutopolis, no, all of Hoenn has, was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me, please accept it. And here we get ourselves the TM or the HM07. And, well, this is the hidden machine named uh, Waterfall. If you have a rain badge, a Pokemon that has learned that HM move can force its way up to waterfalls. And where does uh, one get the rain badge? You know, don't you? That's right! You have to beat the Sutopolis Gym Leader. When you're all set to go, step through that door. Okay, alrighty. So, there is just one little thing we need to do. Before we end this episode, we gotta go somewhere again. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are back in Mount Pyre. And if you guys remember, Mount Pyre is the place where we got those, uh, where we got those orbs. So all you gotta do now is come up to Mount Pyre and, uh, well, you're gonna be seeing something miraculous. Something inspiring, and yes, both the losers, Archie and Maxi, are gonna be looking and they're gonna be like, Draven. Da, da, da. <laughs> they just walk it away. So, yeah. They return the orbs. Now, if you talk to these people, the two men who took the orbs came back uh, to return it their own. Those those men, perhaps, were not evil after all. Hmm. It may... It, it is my role to pass on the legends of Hoenn to the future generations and the crisis that just ended in Sutopolis rewrote a, a, rewrote a legend. Have you, uh, have you the time to hear the new legend of Hoenn? Yes. It happened long, long ago. The world was wa uh, racked by a ferocious clash uh, between a Pokemon of land and a Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised the mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved the oceans. Their fierce, their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in a massive fires and vicious storms. It was, the, it was then that a Pokemon of the sky descended from a storm. The Pokemon shining a vivid green but calmed the two enraged Pokemon. Then, in Studio Doan, or it's Duty Doan, it's, he said duty, the green Pokemon flew off into the wild with a blue yonder. Oh, okay, so that's pretty much it. And, well, I do believe that you can actually capture, you can actually capture, uh, what was it called, uh, Rayquaza afterwards. I could I could be wrong. I gotta check my old walkthrough. But yes, guys, this is the end of this episode right here. In the next one, yes, we're gonna be going into the Sutopla City Gym and we're gonna get our battle on. We're gonna get our final badge. We're gonna destroy everybody. Gattaca. So you do not want to miss that. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being supportive and being patient. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.